WVTC Radio Detroit. You can find us on Facebook, YouTube, our website, www.wvtcradio.com, or download our WVTC app from the Play Store for Android users and the App Store for iPhone users.
Good afternoon, good afternoon. Guess who? It's your host, Edna Bell, and your Monday 4 o'clock show, Community Bell. Thank you so much for being with us one more time. It's the season, it's the season, it is the season to greet and be happy and praise God. So I've got somebody special with me today who's just going to talk for a long time and tell you everything. <laughs> How about that? Didn't know that, did you? <laughs> no, I had no idea. <laughs> Dr. Sabrina Jackson, you have probably seen her on every TV station there is around this area and others and all sorts of other places in pulpits and on stages and giving lectures and giving information. And I just know her as my friend Sabrina <laughs> from way back. But I'm glad to have you with us today, Madam. Thank you so much, Madam Bell. Well, tell us about Miss Sabrina Jackson. Wow. Yeah, that is I know that's a lot. That's a lot. I'll that's start at the look, I'll start at my humble beginnings. So Thank you. I, like I am the I am a <laughs> resident and a lifelong Detroiter. I went to Schultz Elementary School, Bobian Middle School, Cass Technical High School, the only high school. Oh, here you go, another one of those Cass Tech people. Only high school. <laughs> oh my <laughs> <laughs> then I went on to Eastern Michigan University, Wayne State University, Yay, Wayne State <laughs> University, Regent University. Oh, my. So, yeah, you kind of like school. Oh, that's a good thing. Yeah. That's a good thing, and that's what we need to get a lot more of our young people to do is to like school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And whatever way you can, like school, because, boy, boy, we need you. We're going to need you Absolutely. even more in the future. And for us to be able to do what we all want to do, and that is to be successful, we're going to need these young people. We absolutely need the young people. We need the young people to understand that they're no longer just competing with the person down the street or around the corner. They're competing globally. Yes. We are in a global economy. Mm -hmm. I called earlier today to, to, reg to reserve me a, a car, a rental car. Mm -hmm. I'm leaving town tomorrow, and the person who answered the phone was foreign. I mean, that's that is just the real. Absolutely, and you get that everywhere. Everywhere, and in in my business, because in my business I do a lot of work teaching people about how to deal with other people, mm -hmm. and so I've been commissioned to come to other countries and help train them in customer service for the U.S. Now, so. Um, that yeah, is so important, it's so good. important, and particularly as you see myself and Sandy Rose and Ann Carter, who's with us today, we worked at Michigan Bell Telephone Company. Oh, wow. So we know about customer service. Yes. We know real well about customer service, and we often talk about it. We say, how did these people get these jobs and they don't know how to deal with people? Yep. And, and you can't blame them because somebody didn't train them. Yes, because we're so into getting the contract. Yes. Once we got the contract, then we just kind of give it to whomever to do whatever. Mm -hmm. But in order to have a spirit of excellence, absolutely, you have to think the full holistic thing about a contract. I don't just want the contract. I want to make sure I'm implementing the mm -hmm. contract to the best that I can possibly yes. do. So I say I want to make sure people bring their A game there to every go. game. Every, I like that. <laughs> bring your A game to every game. I love every it. Every game. So I don't care if it's in the church. I don't care if it's in a team. I don't care if it's in business. I don't care if it's at the daycare center. Wherever you want to bring your A game to every game. I love it. I love that about that. When you hear it again, you can, I, I you can take to, it, I, Madam Bell. You can absolutely it. <laughs> take it. But it, it is also important to know that I feel that our young people need to understand that there are five main reasons why people fail at anything that they do. And they are? The first is coachability. The number one reason why people fail is coachability because at the end of the day, how do you get better if can't nobody tell you nothing? Uh oh. <laughs> and Come too on. often, <laughs> we don't want anybody to tell us we anything. We don't want to hear nothing. Mm -hmm. I know that. You don't have to tell me. And, and, and to be more <laughs> honest, as we look at the, the top mm -hmm. the top five, uh, the, the last thing on the top five list is the number one thing people get trained in. However, what I find is also in our personal lives, with our children, as parents, as a wife, as a, you know, please don't say nothing to me about my kid. 
Mm, please please don't say nothing to me about my man about my child (laughs) and maybe something someone else has been through sat through Mm -hmm. understood studied researched can help you do a better job because you don't get a manual with how to raise these children. Oh, absolutely. You don't get a manual no. on how to be a wife. As a matter of fact, I told my oldest daughter, you know, I practiced on you. I didn't know what I was doing when, that, when you were born. <laughs> you were the practice case. I, I, I got real good on the second one, the but second, the first one was. The born. first one was <laughs> trial and error. That's right. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so the first reason is coachability, and most people don't get trained on how to receive feedback. We get trained how to give feedback. Oh, if you're a supervisor, okay. mm-hmm. they train you on how to give and supervise. But when was the last time you learned how to receive, receive. feedback gracefully? That's the part. Uh-huh. Gracefully. So I ask people all the time, <laughs> what, is, what, mm-hmm. was, what do you do when you get feedback you don't like? We become defensive. I don't hear it. Oh yeah! Well, I how don't dare! Hear how it. dare! I block how you dare! Out. Or we compare <laughs> apples and oranges. So someone told you that you were late, and you say, "But I stay late." Well, I didn't. I, I didn't. I don't need you to stay late. I need you to be here on time. I need you to be here on time. <laughs> <laughs> I, see, I, mean, I, I always keep bringing up at Michigan Bell, but at Michigan Bell, if you were on time, you were late. If you were early, <laughs> yes, you we, were on time. That's right. Absolutely. If you were early, you were on time. But we didn't. We didn't play that. You get here at eight thirty-five. No, 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 no. That's that's not that's not the time you're supposed to be here. Yeah, you need to be in your space, ready to work. And then the number two reason why people fail is emotional intelligence. Mm-hmm. And that's when you lack the ability to control and manage your own emotions, or accurately assess the emotions of someone else. Mm -hmm. So you either are in one or two spaces. You are in the spot that can't nobody say nothing to you because you crying or cussing or fighting. (laughs) Let it be crying and not cussing and fighting. I I, I don't mind if you cry, but don't cuss and fight. fight. I know it's got to be one, but let it be crying, Or you push people and push people till you push them over the edge. Now that has happened. So, you know, then they say that you go postal. It's a shame that that is a thing. It, it's hard, it's, yes, But it is. you have someone waiting for you outside mm-hmm. because you don't push them too far, mm-hmm. because you haven't, you don't have the skills on when to just shut up. Yes. That's a skill. Just let it go. Just let it go. Let it go. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the number three reason why people fail is motivation. And that's when you lack the... Um, the motivation to reach your own highest potential so you'll do just enough to get by you you'll get rolled up but you won't get fired Mm -hmm. you 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 know you you know i hear people say this all the time oh i just i just i'm just doing that because i need a paycheck no 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 (laughs) no 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 i don't want i don't want anyone to work for me that's just looking for a paycheck no this has to be something that you want to do. There has to be some passion in it. There has to be some motivation in it for you because you're going to bring that to the to the table. To, to the table. Is. That's right. Yes, yes, yes. I ask the question all the time. This is a great interview question. What do I get when I get you? Mm, okay. And then and then they'll they'll look and I say I'll wait. <laughs> Think about it. Let's go mm-hmm. on to think, the next. Yeah, one. think about that because I want to know what I'm getting. Am I getting mediocre? Am I getting uh, just, uh, I'm going to show up when I feel like it. If it's raining, I'm not coming. Or am I getting someone that is a self-starter, that doesn't need to be micromanaged? Mm-hmm. And if I give you the information, you can take it and run with it. Mm-hmm. I need to know what I'm getting when I get you. Absolutely. And I need to know that if I'm not there, the you, job yes. is still going to be, get, be done. Please do and it's going to be done well. And it's going to be done well. Yes. So the fourth reason why people fail is temperament or personality type. So you lack the personality type either for the position mm. or the environment. That's two very critical things. So, it, you know, sometimes you talk about customer service. You don't like people, but you're working with people. Mm. You probably should be in another position. You need another position. <laughs> yes. You should not be the customer service rep if you don't like people. Oh my. You should not be mm-hmm. the usher. <laughs> 
<laughs> you shouldn't be answering the phone. You should not be answering the phone. And you shouldn't be at the front desk you greeting people. You should not greet people. You <laughs> should. There are positions. In the back room. In the back room. That don't have to deal with the public. That don't have to deal with <laughs> the public. I would say, I, I know teachers that don't like children. Mm. Why are you teaching children and you don't like children? <laughs> Cause I need a job. Cause I need a job. I need I a paycheck. The to that. <laughs> I need a paycheck. Mm -hmm. Cause well, you're making it bad for you and me. Mm -hmm. And then the last reason why people fail is functionality or skill set. They just can't do it. They haven't. They haven't been trained. They can't mm -hmm. do it. And so, if we look at the top five, number five is what we train in the most. Yes. So we make sure mm -hmm. you have the manual. You have the procedures. You, you know, you'll shallow somebody, you do all of that to do the skills. But those other four, yeah. we don't train people in emotional intelligence. We don't let people really understand how to identify how they handle emotions and then mm -hmm. how to deal with it effectively. How vulnerable are you to stress? Mm -hmm. Because what stresses me may not stress you. Exactly. But if I'm stressed, it is going mm -hmm. to impact how I do my job. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, yeah. That's... Those are the ones. Those are the ones. So, I tell young people all the time, if you learn those top five, you will be unstoppable. Not only in unstoppable in the workplace or in your business, but in life, because you must deal with people. And all of those things have to do with dealing with people. You just can't be a good pro computer programmer yes. and be out front. You can do that in the back room, <laughs> yes. but you gotta you gotta deal with people in the front room. Mm -hmm. And if you can't do that, find yourself a job that's only in the back room. Only in the back room. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes, and, yes. And yes. you will probably be very successful. Very might successful. Might not have any friends. <laughs> might not might not have anybody else around you. But you will be successful in being a programmer in absolutely. the back room. Absolutely, absolutely. That, if that's what you want then that's what you do. You go for that. But if, in fact, you want to be around people, you want to have a positive impact on other people, you want people to think of you as somebody they want to be around, Absolutely. then those other skills have to be out there. And you can get them. If you don't have them, find somebody who yes. can train you to do that. There, you can there, do it. There's that coachability thing, that, man. That's fine. You somebody have to who, know where your limitations are. And I'm not, I'm not one, I, I, there is a school of thought out here right now that talks about you should play to your strengths, that you should just focus on what you're good at. But how do you get better mm -hmm. if you don't attack the things that you're not good at? Mm -hmm. So I'm not good at some things and that doesn't mean that I should shy away from that area. Mm -hmm. I should learn to strengthen that area in me. I, that may not be my go-to, but I should have some information. I should know how I can be better at that. Because what if, and this is, I love the fact that we can talk God here. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> you know, there's a song we sing that, Lord, I'm available to you. Mm -hmm. I've emptied out my cup so you can fill me up. Uh -huh. So now, are you saying, God, use the parts of me that I like? Use the parts of me that I'm good at? Or are you saying, God, use all of me? There and is. there are some places in you that you haven't even tapped into, and God may want to have use of that area, so you have to strengthen that area. And what's that? They say you need to be available because he's opening doors you don't even you see. You don't even see. <laughs> you don't know the door is there until you get to it. And there, and there you are. So you've got to be available when, for whatever he sends you. Whatever. Whenever he sends you. And this is what I love about God. God don't ask <laughs> your permission <laughs> on what he gonna do. Mm. He will open up a door and plop you right in the middle. And you go, ooh, I, you I know, got to walk through. I got to Let walk me straight through. Up. Let me get it Let, right. Let me get it right now. <laughs> So I told God probably about three years ago now at the beginning of the year, because every year at the beginning of the year, I really kind of do a, a consecration and I fast and I study and I just kind of get clarification and direction for the year for me. And so that year I said, Lord, whatever door you open for me, I'm going to run through it. 
And I'm not going to do it with trepidation. I'm not going to do it with fear. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to do it with, well, why me? Why, <laughs> why I get this opportunity? And I'm not going to allow what other people think right. about me going through the door to stop me from I, going through the door. Because I'm just going people, through the door. I'm just going through the door. Because people will try to stop Ooh, you. Not just try. Ooh. Oh, they'll try Ooh. to pull you back. Oh, not just try. <laughs> not just try. I mean, I say this all the time. and I, In fact, I said it yesterday. I, I, I delivered the word over at Victory in the Word Ministries on yesterday, and I, I, my, my sermon was, will the real friends please stand up? And I talked about eight things that the Proverbs teaches us about friendship. Okay. And, and so one I, of the... Oh. I, I just love to hear that. <laughs> and we're going to hear it as soon as we come back from this message, because <laughs> message. we're going to come back and talk about those eight things. And I, and I saw your your flyer about the sermon. I was trying to get there, you know. This this like these last two oh, weeks I of the know. year are just kind of crazy. Yes. I said, oh, Sabrina's preaching today. I need to hear that, and hear, and I'm going to hear it anyway. Ah. So as soon as we come back from this message, we're going to hear about those eight things. Say it again. It was the first Noel the angels did say to certain poor shepherds in fields where they lay, keeping their sheep. so deep y'all it was so right somebody say no way Say, no, no, no. Born is a king. 
Well, we're back, we're back, we're back with Dr. Sabrina Jackson, who's talking to us about all sorts of wonderful, wonderful things that you all need to hear about. But, you know, in the first segment, we talked about you and how you need to take care of you and the five things you need to look at as it relates to taking care of you. It isn't just work. It encompasses everything. So now we're going to talk about something else. There are eight things we're going to talk about now. Dr. <laughs> Sabrina, talk to us. <laughs> well, we, we, there are eight things because, you know, I was really thinking about this whole notion about friendship mm -hmm. and what it is to be a friend and what it is to pick a friend or do we even know how to pick friends. And we keep calling people our friends who are not our friends. And so I, I search the word. Okay. And so um, Proverbs All right. has eight things to tell us about friendship. The first of the eight is in order to be a friend. In order to have a mm -hmm. friend, you got to be a friend. So Proverbs 18 and 24 says, A man who has a friend must first show himself friendly. All right. So, just, so, just nice and simple. Just Easy. nice and simple. Nice and simple. If you want a friend, so, you got to be a friend. You got to be a friend. And so <laughs> what's so important to know is that sometimes we're so, uh, we get offended so easy. And then we become mean, mm -hmm. and no one wants to be your friend. Who wants to be bothered with the mean person? <laughs> the person that's mm -hmm. never smiling, the person that's always grimming you. And the, uh, nobody want to be around. Don't nobody want to be, be, be your that. friend. They don't want to be around, around you. <laughs> Number two is that we must choose our friends wisely. Mm -hmm. And Proverbs 13 and 20 says, walk with the wise, and you become wise. Ooh. For a companion of fools will suffer harm. And that, that, what does that say? Birds of a feather flock together. <laughs> so, yeah. Is that what that said? That's, so that's what you, it really said in other words. <laughs> I said this, that you should routinely examine your circle of friends. Mm -hmm. And if at any time someone's in the circle that doesn't deserve to be in the circle, it's your circle, so you choose who's in the circle. But the other thing is that you don't tell a person, you know what, Edna, you're not in the circle no more. Bye. You can't be with us. No, that's mean. <laughs> uh -huh. That's mean. You shouldn't do that. But you can back away, get busy, start doing other things, you know, um, be selective. Because I have some friends that certain places I go, they can't go. <laughs> yes. Certain places I go, they, they can't can. go mm -hmm. because they don't know how to navigate yeah. that space. And they would feel uncomfortable. It would be unfair to them for you to put them Even in that position. Even if they didn't feel uncomfortable, because yeah. some people just don't have the clue. Because common <laughs> sense was trying to be ain't nice, and you common. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Common sense is ain't not common. common. <laughs> so you have to, you know. And I always say this: if you're the smartest person in your circle, you in the wrong circle. Uh oh. <laughs> 
You need to be around some folks that can level you up. Um, there you go. Oh, you don't want to always be the it? one leveling up. Yeah. No, that's not what you want to do. Number three, don't be a fair-weathered friend. All right. Woo, Proverbs 17 and 17 says a friend loves at all times. A fair-weathered friend is sometimes. Oh, because because I'm in a good mood, and yeah, mm -hmm. I'm nice, but you know, my man treated me wrong today, so now I'm going to tell you off. No! Mm -hmm. Or, you know, she used to be all right, but but now she ain't got nothing. You hear Ooh. me say, ain't got nothing? Nah, ain't. <laughs> ain't. She, she can't be around us anymore. Right. Well, no, that's not how that works. That's not how that goes. And if, they were your, if your friends are in trouble, you help your friends. You, there you go. You got to back them up. You got to back them up. Number four, friends tell each other the truth. Mm. Proverbs 27 and 6 says, faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. All right. And so I just said a little song. Y'all might remember this song. They smile it in your face all the time. They want to take your face. Backstabbers. Backstabbers. I said old days had something. They were saying something. They were saying it. Didn't they know were they were saying, saying it. Something yes. right yes. there. So the people who smiling up in your face, who going to roll out the red carpet for you, want to make sure you add everything, mm -hmm. watch them. Because mm -hmm. they want something. Mm -hmm. Especially when you're doing something. Yes. When you're doing something, people want to get close to you. They want to see the, you know, they want to meet the people you, you know. They want to go to the place. You. I cannot believe how many people will inbox me <laughs> and ask me. Uh, I was wondering, I see you on Fox 2 all the time. How did you get, how do you get featured on Fox 2? And is there any advice you can give? That's coaching. That's funny. And that's a fee for that. That's, that's money. That, that's that's my job. That's what I. That's my this business. This is what I do for a living. This is what my I, business. First, I'm not a PR person, nor marketing or advertising, and no, I don't get people on Fox Two. That's not what I do. <laughs> it's not. That's not what I that's do. That's not. And I didn't get me. They called me. Help, could you say it again? <laughs> Metal Bell said it. Good. They called they me. Called I me. did not call, call them, them up and go. You know Can what? Can I come on your Can show? Can I come on? No. The news. They called me. This is one thing I will say. When you are busy doing what God has for you to do, when you are busy row, 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 rowing your own boat gently down the stream. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> merrily, 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 <laughs> life is but a dream. But let me say this about a dream. You got to have a dream for a dream to come true. All right. All right. You got to have a vision. Not a nightmare. Come let's, on. Let's make sure we understand this. Let me it say is this. a dream. It is a dream. And you can't dream with your eyes wide open. Mm -hmm. I don't have to go to sleep to have a dream. Ooh. Ooh, say it. <laughs> say it. I felt that thing in my shot now. Number five. Okay. Friends don't use flowery words. A friend's not going to always. No. Proverbs 27, 14 says, if you wake your friend in the early morning by shouting, rise and shine, it will sound like a curse to them <laughs> because they were sleeping. Uh -huh. And it was time to but wake up. But it was a blessing that you woke them up. So sometimes we have to say things in a way to wake your friend up. Sometimes they sleeping. And like in the movie Get Out, you need to stay woke. You need to stay woke, absolutely. But go back to the <laughs> sleeping part. See, sleeping <laughs> isn't necessarily being asleep, as right. you said. Right. Mm -hmm. Sleeping it can be lackadaisical. Yeah. Sleeping can be not paying attention. Not paying attention. Sleeping can be just you know sitting back, laying back, like I'm 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 all, I'm all right. No, you're no, not. You're not. <laughs> you are not all right. Wake up. As they said, wake up and smell the roses. Yes. Wake up so that you can yes. smell the roses. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Number six. Friends don't portray your confidence. There it is. Oh, that thing almost won't there be There it is. I wanted to lay down on that one. Proverbs mm -hmm. 17 and 9 says, overlook an offense and then a bond of friendship can occur. 
but when you fasten onto a slight, a goodbye to a friendship happens. So this is what it says. So when I really wanted to go deep into that is that if Edna offended me and I know all her secrets and then I go tell Anne all her secrets, we're not going to be friends no more. Mm -mm. But that wasn't my friend in the first place. Exactly. That was not my friend in the first place. So you mm -hmm. can't fasten yourself to the offense. Because when you fasten yourself to the offense, you do things that's offensive. Mm -hmm. But when you can overlook the offense and understand that I need to forgive my friend, my friend is not going to always do the right thing at the right time because we're human. Absolutely. And I'm not always going to do what I think is exactly. the right thing. Exactly. Just because I think it's right exactly. doesn't mean it's right. Yes. I always mm -hmm. say there's mm -hmm. you know, three types of truth. My mm -hmm. truth, your truth, and then the truth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's somebody in, in, in Washington, D.C. who needs to hear the Oh, <laughs> not the fake truth. Ooh, not the fake who truth. Who needs to hear that. All right. <laughs> Number seven is probably my favorite of all. Friends are committed to making you better. Mm-hmm. Proverbs 27 and 17, as iron sharpeneth iron, so one person sharpens another. Mm. I should make you better because you're in my space. All right. I should be better because I know you. But let me say this. Iron sharpeneth iron, but it should not cut. I should not leave you bleeding. Oh, Okay. You caught, because you know what we do, we, we, we tell somebody off and be mean to them mm -hmm. and say, well, I'm keeping it 100. I'm keeping it real. No. Doesn't give you the no. right to be mean. No. 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 My iron will sharpen your iron, but, but I shouldn't cut, cut you. you. That's right. I'll make you better, but I don't cut you. I love it. And number eight. <laughs> All right. Friends give good, godly advice. Did you hear that? Good. good. Godly, godly advice. advice. Proverbs 27 and 9. Perfume and incense bring joy to the heart. Mm. And the pleasantness of a friend springs forth from their heartfelt advice. When it's heartfelt, mm. that means you've done some digging. Yes. About what you're getting ready to say. And the digging should be in the word. Your advice should line up with what scripture says. If it doesn't line up with what scripture says, shut up. Sometimes people don't even need your advice. They need your prayer. That's right. Sometimes they mm -hmm. don't just need your advice and prayer. They need your listening ear. And listening ear means you're just listening. Yeah. That's why you got you, two ears and one mouth. You don't have listen to say a word. Listen twice as much just as listen. you talk. I love it. Don't have to say a word. Just Don't be there to listen. Sometimes just people just space, need, yeah. just need, they need to talk and you need to listen. Yes. And they need somebody who they can trust yes. to listen to, to them. Th oh, say that word again. That's trust. The they need somebody they can trust to listen to them. Mm -hmm. right. Because what, if it comes in, it has to stay in. Yes. It should not come back out wherever you're going. It shouldn't come back out. It's got to stay right where they put it. And that's in you and in your heart. Just let it, let it just stay let there. Let it stay there. Just yes. let it stay there because that's where it was meant to be and as as women we hear this all the time especially as black women we hear that women can't be friends they backstab each other women don't get along with women let me dispel that myth please I know do incredible women yes who have held up my back who have been there for me when I needed it, who have checked me when I needed it and not checked me in front of people. There you but go. But pulled me to the side. I remember, oh my goodness, I, my first gig, my first major Fortune 100 company gig was with McDonald's Corporation. And I went to their headquarters at McDonald U mm -hmm. to do this diversity workshop. And I was so excited, and my PowerPoint had a typo. Mm, okay. I see. I never saw it because oftentimes you, you don't see it see. so much. You you, you miss it. You don't. You miss it. Exactly. But I never saw it. But mm -hmm. a friend of mine, a lady that worked there, mm -hmm. became my friend because she pulled me to the side. She says, "We love you. 
You're going to do great work here. But don't ever have a PowerPoint with a typo. So from that day to this day, whenever I do something, I have a second else and look third at there set of eyes there you go. to look at it. Absolutely. But if I had not have taken that feedback. Mm -hmm. and in a positive way. And did, I didn't feel like she was attacking you. Attacking me. She's making me better. Yes. Yes. I need to be better. And I don't care who you are, what you've done, mm -hmm. how much money you make. You still need, need to be better. To be better. And you can be better. Mm -hmm. You can be better. I love it. Those are eight powerful points. Eight powerful you points. Anytime you pull it from the word. Okay? That, that's Ooh, right. You, <laughs> you, can't can't help. you, can't, you help. can't help but <laughs> get excited exactly. about what's in the word. I oh. love, love, love just wrestling and nestling in the word. <clears throat> just, to just be real comfortable. It's, it's a comfortable space a, to be. Isn't it a comfortable space? It is it a is comfortable a, space to be yes, because you can read the same scripture. Mm hmm and get a whole new revelation. I just love the Holy Spirit because I have read, I remember Jim Holly mm -hmm. was doing a, a, a friend of ours uh, passed away and he was doing the eulogy. And he did this whole thing about, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. And he zoned in on that shadow. He says, now what is a shadow? Uh-oh. He says, so that means you're not even in the valley. You are in the shadow of the valley. valley. And what can a shadow do to you? Mm, nothing. nothing. That thing, I, I, oh. I wanted to run through the funeral. I was <laughs> <laughs> had to hold on so you wouldn't get up. So I wouldn't get up <laughs> because I never saw it that way. Wow. That's strong. I love a revelation. That is strong. Revelation, is strong. revelation, that revelation. The, my newest one uh -oh. is yea no the the one that that God prepares a table for you in the no. presence of your enemy. Stop. Presence means proximity. That means you got to be at my table, table to see my table. Mm -hmm. So what I've learned is haters are a part of the equation. Mm -hmm. There's a table too. I can't have the blessing without the haters being at the table. But this is the part that I really love. And it goes on to say, and my cup runneth over. <laughs> my cup is. don't even run over for me. My cup run over for the folk at my table. Right. So even if you don't like me, if you at my table, you get blessed because you near me. Uh-oh. So God wants to know, I can he trust you even with your enemy? You know mm -hmm. they don't like you. That's right. And the greatest example recently that we've seen is Tyler Perry. Because mm. Tyler Perry Say it. named a soundstage after a man uh -huh. who was hating on him when yep. he first came out. He, when I saw that he named it after Spike Lee, uh -huh. I cried yep. because I knew that he got it. He said, yeah, he, yeah, we had a yep. beef, yeah. He says, but I know that I wouldn't be who I am if he didn't do what he did. That thing made me want to oh, run, run, run again. Run, run again. <laughs> so you, you can't you can't get stuck in the fact that somebody don't like you, because what people do has more to do with what's inside of them than what's inside, inside. of you. Right. I cannot not do what's inside of me because you doing what's inside of you. Mm. And the fact that all of you are at the table, and your cup is running over. Even though they didn't like you, even though they talked about you, you shared with them. And I'll just bet that they're not enemies of yours anymore. Not no more. Not they no are, more. They are not no, no longer your not enemies. No they no longer they're the enemies. No, no, they are no longer the enemies simply because your cup runneth over and you stayed at the table with them. It, it sounds simple, but it isn't simple. It's not simple. It is not simple. It's not simple. It's not it is simple. not simple. But it's a choice that we make. Yes. And so I, I, I really like to be around people who are like-minded. 
So when I talk to people and I'll say, well, you know, such and such said this about me and they don't like me. And if the person says, girl, well, you can get them back and you can, you can <laughs> mm-hmm. do that, then I don't want to talk to them no more. No, no. Because, I don't want to talk to no, them. Because they should be saying, well, now let's wait a minute. Let's wait a minute. Let, let's, let's just see how we can work through this. Yes. Let's just see how we can work through. We can work through this. We can work and so, through this. But, so what if they don't like you? Mm-hmm. Let's pray for them. Absolutely. If you pray, pray for them. for someone mm-hmm. who don't like you. We, mm. Oh, my. Praying oh. for them. We're almost out of time, but I want you to talk about one other subject before okay. we leave. And okay. that is this time of year. Mm-hmm. We find people who have either lost someone mm-hmm. or who are just lonely mm-hmm. need some extra. They need to know how to cope with that. Talk about that for well, me Well, the for a first minute. thing is that you really need to understand that we weren't even created to be independent. Okay. We were created to be interdependent. Okay. So we need people. So if you're sitting at home alone and you're sad and you're not talking and the people calling and you're not answering the phone, you've been invited and you won't go, make the decision to push past that and go. Make mm-hmm. the decision to call somebody and tell, I need company. Come over and watch a movie. Yeah. Let's watch uh, The Color Purple uh, for the hundredth time. <laughs> at least. Or let's play some bid wits. Let's play so some So we can just holler and be crazy. And yes, or let's just <laughs> I done made some Kool-Aid. Come on over. <laughs> and have some. So a, a lot of times we won't reach out because we make the assumption that people are too busy. People won't know if we don't tell them. All right. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Just say it. Just say it. And people, because I know for me, when I lost my mother, and trust and believe I loved my mom. Mm-hmm. Whew. I understand. <laughs> that first... Mother's Day, all my friends thought that someone else had invited me out. Mm -hmm. And And so nobody nobody invited me out. Oh, wow. And Mm. so I spent that first Mother's Day alone. alone. Oh, no. And you didn't call anybody. And so that's the second part. That's -hmm. That's why I say that I had some onus in that, too, Mm -hmm. because they didn't know because I didn't say nothing. Mm -hmm. I had to say, look, hey. Hey, so somebody. I know how to say hey. <laughs> hey, hey y'all. Hey y'all. <laughs> I want to go. Like I, people will call. So, well, I'm going. Oh, I want to go. You got a ticket? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. What I need? To, I'll pay what for my I ticket. What I need I to do? Go. I need to go. I now, Miss Bell, to tell you this. I I want to go golfing. Uh huh. <laughs> I want to be a golfer with Miss Bell. And she's going to be. I am. She's I keep, going to I be. I keep saying. Mm-hmm. And when they, every time I'm so busy, but, uh, but I really do. Well. We should go and do the, how you just go inside, what we do inside. Yeah, we can do that we too. We can do the inside thing. We can thing, do the inside thing too. Or we we can, I, but I can get on the plane too and well, go Well, now, now that's more. even better. Come on, let's <laughs> that's, get that's, on the plane. Now that's what we really have to do. Yeah. But we, we, can, we can, and we're going to do that. Yes. This year, as a matter of fact. The Silver Foxes may just do that. Come on, Silver Foxes. <laughs> they may just do the that. Silver Foxes <laughs> Golf Club. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> we may just do that. Open Wait, my but, mouth. I'll and and, my and mouth. my wife says, we're going to have a whole lot of people stop dying their hair. <laughs> <laughs> so they can be a so they can be a So they can be a Silver Fox. <laughs> so they can be no, a you can't fox. be a Silver Fox if your hair ain't silver. I know it's under there someplace, but mm <laughs> <laughs> so, so some few, some folks will stop down. The hair is gonna be so mm-hmm. fast. So. Come on. So it's it's, it's so it's coming. It's gonna be a wonderful thing. I love it's it. It's going to be a wonderful thing. Thank you so much. Thank this you so much wonderful. for having me. I'm so glad you were able to do this. It's so. This is the time of year when people need to hear that. Yes, they do. They need to hear that because so often. Um, this time of year, people get very lonely, get yep. very sad. Um, Sometimes we want to, you know, have our own pity party. And whenever you're but in that space. But let's not have that pity party. Whenever you're in that space. Tell them what to do. It's not, <laughs> you're not thinking <laughs> rationally. Mm-hmm. You're not. And so I always say this. When, when you are in a space of feeling down and sad and depressed or whatever, you are not being grateful. So if you just change your thinking to one thing you have to be grateful for, what you concentrate on is what grows. So if I start by making a list of the things that I'm grateful for, then I start to feel 
better that I, I might start to play the song grateful 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 then i feel be grateful come on come i start on. to feel yes. better when i feel better that energy level rises and when it rises then love will creep in the room and love is always mm. looking for love all right so you can start to spread some love on yourself. I tell people every day, say something kind to yourself about yourself. Because, because you you're got the only, only you one. you got. And you're the best you in the world. Come on. And you know some good stuff about you that nobody know, else knows. Nobody say else it. know it. And just say it. Like all this chocolate and silver put together. <laughs> there what? you go. Woohoo. <laughs> special. Special. Thank you so much, my Thank special you for guest. having me. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone, for watching Community Bell this evening with our special guest, Dr. Sabrina Jackson. I'm so glad you came to watch us. See you next week on Community Bell. Have a great evening and a great week. Take care. Thank you for listening to Community Bell with your host, former Wayne County Commissioner, Edna Bell. This broadcast is brought to you by WBTC Radio Detroit. You can find us on Facebook, YouTube, our website, www.wbtcradio.com, or download our WBTC app from the Play Store for Android users and the App Store for iPhone users. If you've enjoyed this broadcast, tell a friend to tune in. We'll see you next Monday at 4 p.m. Eastern for the Community Bell Show right here on WBTC Radio Detroit. The views and opinions expressed on the previous broadcast are those of the authors and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of WBTC Radio Detroit, its advertisers or affiliates. WVTC Radio Detroit. You can find us on Facebook, YouTube, our website, www.wvtcradio.com, or download our WVTC app from the Play Store for Android users and the App Store for iPhone users.